It's the Drum Hang, and I'm Chris Smith. Today's drummer of the day, Brian Blade. So that recording is a new recording, and it's titled Between Two Worlds. It's Jeff Denson on bass, uh, Roman Pallone on guitar, and Brian Blade on drums. So I checked, I just found it this, this week on YouTube. I've been loving um, not only the record, but then, of course, watching this studio footage, which is some of the best I've seen of Brian. It's very, very clear. I mean, it's really, it's really amazing footage. So you got to go, go check out the whole thing on YouTube. Now here is the clip of the lick of the day. Very short, three seconds. Here it is. When we talk about Brian Blade, of course we're talking about musical and dynamic drumming very organic playing that is really serving the music. It never feels like Brian is forcing things he's practiced onto the music. Rather, the music is drawing out the things that are ingrained in him, and he's, he's playing it on the drums in a very dynamic way with phrasing and great shape. This two and a half measure fill is a challenge because of the phrasing and the dynamics he plays it with. Um, it's really not that complicated as you see, um, but the hand to foot eighth notes are a challenge to stay um, even with the subdivision. Uh, and as with Brian, he's going up the drums. The, the thing that I found the most challenging when I'm trying to play this, because I'm trying to work it out too, is the dynamic shape requires you to, when you go to the floor tom, in the third measure, you you can't hit it hard. He doesn't beat beat the crap out of it, which is like what I want to do and probably what you want to do because we're used to boom, right? But the fact that he can make this shift and start the, the next ending of this phrase on his floor tom with his right and not hit it too hard, then as he goes up the drums, each note is a little louder where he then unloads on the cymbal. So it's like soft, more, 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 unload soft more more unload right that's the shape and it's a challenge because i want to hit the floor tom hard getting my bass drum to get that nice dynamic shape is also a real challenge so here's the transcription i'll play brian playing it a bunch i'll show you my attempt of course he he sounds amazing it's his lick uh he looks great he looks cool i sound like me and look like me as i play it but what i wanted to show you was how I'm uh, working on it, slow and fast, and how it my, mine doesn't really sound as much like his, of course, yet, because I'm working on it, but how much the dynamic shape matters, and how something that looks simple is not simple musically, and that is what makes Brian Blade a genius and a master, and that's why we're trying to cop that vibe. So I hope you dug this, the quickie, um, this two and a half measure Brian Blade fill that is sure to inspire and hopefully give you some things to work on as we're all stuck in home. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. Um, of course, I'm teaching private lessons as always, uh, always have been, always will be. So if you want a lesson or just, just the chat, Chris Smith Jazz Drums at gmail.com. But the main thing is I hope everybody is happy uh, as possible, healthy, and uh, hope hope that we can get through this all together 
sooner rather than later. So there's more content for sure coming. I'm working on some brush patterns to Celia, which is difficult to say the least. But when I get it, I'm going to share it with you. So be well. Hope to see you soon. One, two, I want to date. One, two, I want to date.